Hello, great to have you with us. And this is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of Doha. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's England, and they take on Iran. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Luke Shaw starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Raheem Sterling out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. To look at the lineup for Iran. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. Kane must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied, and they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And he was in the right place to intercept. Foden. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Harry Kane. Oh, a save of the highest order. Can they take the lead here? And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. Ahmad Nurolahi. Attacking possibilities for England. And the keeper there to deal with it. Kane. And a goal! Well, as the replay shows, it takes a deflection. And as a result, the keeper had very little chance there. They just got a bit of luck. We're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Real chance. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, as you can see, this is a great pass from Foden. And then from there, the keeper has little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. Ten minutes to go. Now potential danger. He just needs to keep a cool head. And there it is! That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, as you can see again, Kane plays a perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders and Grealish couldn't hit this any better. What a great finish this is. Grealish. Opportunity it is. A goal! An exceptional performance this.
Well, here it is again. The through ball is wonderfully executed. And what a clinical finish this is from Foden. He hits it with such power. That's an excellent goal. And Sari Fard. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. And there goes the final whistle. Very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, a lot of positives as we reflect on what we saw from Phil Foden in this match. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.